first game out there, seven touchdowns. You know, that's the most touchdown passes uh, you know, thrown by a Hilltopper in the stadium. You know, I guess, how, how did you feel about your debut, uh, you know, coming in and then throughout the game? Uh, it felt great. Um, to be honest with you, you know, a lot of that, that stuff doesn't happen with guys like him and the guys like, you know, the front five that we got. Um, to be able to go in a game like that against UT Martin and put up the, you know, the points that we did is awesome. And to be able to come out of that game clean like I did with no sacks, no pressures, no nothing like that is another great thing to do um, against a, guy, a team like that. Um, but you know, the big thing about this is like Coach Helton told us, you know, this game's over, come tomorrow, uh, watch film, learn from it. And, you know, Saturday we're back at it going against Army. Uh, moving on to, you know, somebody that's going to, you know, just be as, just as good as UT Martin was. Um, so, you know, it's a great start, great start to the season. I love it. It's awesome to score a lot of points like that and look, look forward to doing it more. Um, that was totally my fault, to be honest with you. Uh, the first play, we start out, I hit him for 15 yards. Um, we come right back, and you know, I see um, Daywood pressed up against their corners pressing Daywood, and I just wanted to take a shot. But I made a bad throw, left it inside for the defender to make a play, and he did. Um, but after that, you know, coming off, you know, like you said, you know, first game jitters got those all out of the way. And then I believe the second drive, I think we, I don't think we scored. I think we drove it down a little bit, ended up punting, right? I don't remember. Um, yeah, and then I think after that second drive is when we really, everybody got the jitters, and I think we scored almost every drive after that. And um, to be able to go on a run like that is, you know, nice to see, especially coming out the first game. Um, definitely look forward to, you know, not coming out the first drive and throwing a pick next week. Uh, start out fast next week, and that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. You know, it was just honestly just an awesome feeling. It's truly just a blessing, honestly, just to be even in this position. I never thought I would be playing FBS football and uh, be doing it alongside my little brother and Bailey, who I've come to be best friends with, honestly. And it's honestly just a great feeling. But like Bailey said, none of this is possible without our front our front five. They played their, their tails off tonight, and I just think they're going to be the unsung heroes all season. But they need the love for sure. Yeah, a couple times. <laughs> yeah, a couple times. It's. Uh, I would just say is, people people like to sleep on his athleticism a little bit, but I think he's a lot more athletic than people uh, want to give him credit for, and just his knowledge for everything. It's crazy how smart he he really is when you uh just talk football with him. It's a lot easier, but if you're quite honest with you, sometimes it's more nerve-wracking when a guy is wide open than when he's, you know, getting covered because you're like, okay, I can't miss this throw. Um, but, you know, to be able to have guys like Daywood, Mitch on the outside that can get open like they do um, is, you know, it's awesome to have as a quarterback. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure you all saw the first touchdown with Daywood over across the middle. I mean, nobody was within 10 yards of him. Just to be able to have that speed out there. You know, to also combat what he does on the inside, what Malachi and what they do on the inside, just to be able to have, you know, both best of both worlds is awesome to have as quarterback. And, you know, I, I love it, and I can't wait for, you know, next week and the weeks after. Um, speaking on his at first, you know, when we do stuff like that and defense jumps, it's, you know, offside, so it's a free play. You know, I could take a shot. If interception, the ball is still ours. Um, you know, and he's smart enough to understand when that, when that happened, he saw the middle field open, so he just took advantage of it. And, you know, I kind of helped guide him a little bit. But, you know, just to be able for him to see me and realize what I was saying is something that, you know, you don't get overnight. You know, we've been playing together for three years. So to be able to have that chemistry is awesome. And then going to Ben, you know, it's the same thing. We've been doing back shoulders for two years now. And, you know, to be able to connect on that at this stage and on the first game is nice to see, you know, nice to see that we have to have that connection. 
And, you know, like I said multiple times, you know, I'm excited to get with these guys, you know, the next 11 weeks. Uh, it's like you said, it's not built overnight, and that's what I was explaining to some of the other receivers because some of the stuff just wasn't, you know, like Bailey's on a different page. And like I said, it just comes over time, and like uh, Bailey said, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's an amazing feeling because I've personally, I'm, I'm a big football fanatic, of course, and I've personally went back and watched the Dowdy days, and to be able to see him do what he did on the field is incredible. And then you had Mike White right after him and the Ty Story, and, you know, those three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back QBs, they're all three great QBs and did great things here. And just to be able to be compared to those guys and be offensive-wise, be compared to those type of offenses is awesome. And, um, you know, we're only one week in. And, you know, hopefully we can carry it on for the next 11, 12 weeks. And to be able to, like I said, I mean, it, it's an awesome feeling to be compared to those guys. They're, you know, WKU greats. So it's nice. Um, the second play, the only interception. I'm going to watch that probably 10 times tonight and tomorrow. Um, just being more accurate with the ball, balls like that, putting it on the outside shoulder, putting it away from the DB where they can't get to it. Um, some other plays where I made it kind of hard for the uh, receivers to catch a little low, um, make it more catchable for them where they can get some uh, run after catch. Um, just a little stuff like that. And then, you know, of course, I got to get back to start watching Army because they're even better on defense than – um, what we've played against, and they got some studs on the defense as well. So I got to get back to watching them. Uh, I guess just fine tuning the little things, uh, ball security when I'm op out in open field, uh, uh, the top of the routes, be able to create more separation, make the throw easier on Bailey, and uh, just simple things like alignment, leverage, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, talk about returns. Punt returns, you got to return one. I got loose. Yeah, you almost did. <laughs> <laughs>